Welcome to Lagoon Quest, an Indian River Lagoon educational program designed for fourth grade teachers and students through a partnership of Brevard Public Schools and the Brevard Zoo. Did you know that Brevard County is home to one of the most diverse estuaries in North America? The Indian River Lagoon contains over 4,000 species of plants and animals, including a large number of threatened and endangered species. The Lagoon Quest program is a district-wide learning experience that educates over 5,000 fourth graders and inspires them to become stewards of this unique, precious, and delicate ecosystem. Lagoon Quest includes classroom lessons and investigations, as well as at-home activities that allow for fourth grade Lagoonies to lead their families through Lagoon learning experiences. Once students complete their Lagoon Quest, they are provided a free Family of Four admission certificate to the Brevard Zoo, where their family learning is extended. The highlight of Lagoon Quest is the day-long, real-life field experience that students have at one of several Lagoon sites. The day begins with the arrival of the Brevard Zoo staff, who will be teaching the program. One of their first tasks is to perform a water scan to ensure that students will be able to wade in the lagoon safely. When the students arrive, the zoo staff boards the bus and welcomes students, teachers, and chaperones. The lead teacher checks in with the zoo staff to confirm student numbers and organizational procedures for the day. Once students are settled at their tables, the chaperones get a safety briefing and review procedures and their responsibilities for the day. Meanwhile, students review biofacts about marine organisms, adaptations, the river, and they identify animals by their skulls. Safety, procedures, water quality, doing the stingray shuffle, and how to use a sane net are important things to learn before proceeding to the water. As students wade up to their waist, they work with their chaperones in small groups to capture juvenile organisms with their sane nets, collect samples in their aquariums, and to collect data. After 30 to 45 minutes in the lagoon, it's time to clean up, change into dry clothes, and enjoy a delicious lunch. The zoo staff works with students to identify and discuss the organisms that were collected before they are released back into the lagoon. The water quality of the lagoon is discussed as student data is analyzed. The scavenger hunt helps students learn about the negative impact that humans have on the environment and how we can all help improve it. Students enjoy working with the Enviroscape as they simulate polluting the model environment in order to better understand the negative effects of different types of pollution. The day comes to a close as students and staff summarize what has been learned and discuss the role that each of us has in caring for the environment. By gaining an appreciation and understanding of the fragile Indian River Lagoon environment, students will become science literate adults better prepared to make informed decisions that impact the quality of life and the environments around them. Brevard Public Schools very much appreciates the unique partnership with the Brevard Zoo in creating the Lagoon Quest program. We also want to thank the zoo staff, the Lagoon Quest Coordinating Committee, and our grade four teachers for implementing this special program with fidelity. I didn't know that when the rain washes all the pollution, it mostly flows into the rivers or lakes. 
so that's another reason to keep it clean. I really enjoyed it. It might have been one of the best field trips I've had. We actually got to like pick up fish, which was really cool. And I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. I have to say my favorite activity was going in the water. We caught a lot of the fish. Just like not pollute the water. Don't just like, don't pretend that the world is like your own huge trash can.